Good morning, guys, gals. Ted from Pewview Farms here. It is a Friday. No, Thursday. No, Friday. Friday morning. Yes, Friday morning. Uh, January something. Forgot the date again. I believe it's the 17th. Anyways, we're here. Um, basically, what we're going to do today for this video is we are going to give a quick view of how my morning chores, what consists of. I'll go through the steps and stuff like that. Uh, basically, just for new viewers that uh, haven't gone back to old previous videos and stuff like that, here's a new video for you guys, basically, on uh, what my morning chores consist of here on the hobby farm. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I look forward to talking to you all real soon. First thing I do when I get out here to the barn is I grab this hose. It's lined up to the wall. And yes, this hose has a nice gradual, let's just call it a 212 slope pitch. So when I'm done filling the water tubs, it'll drain. So I just throw that in, kind of when I'm when, when I'm done, I just toss it out like this. I don't like that running, but just toss it out like that, let it drain, and uh, that water tub is full. Then next thing we do while we're uh, letting the water tubs fill up, uh, we let our mascot, Sonny, one of our new mascots outside for the day that uh so he can get to the hay all day long and uh terrorize the cows you can already hear him moving yep they know sonny's coming then the next thing we do here is we got uh, two full scoops of uh 16 percent uh it's basically just a dairy grain beef grain dairy grain whatever you want to call it and that's for these guys right here this is uh Nitro right there in the blue collar, and that is Big D there in the red collar, and they are ready for their grain. So they'll get their grain this morning, and then I'll let them out. While well, these guys are eating their grain, I usually have a little bit of time to uh, hear the water tub probably overfilling, which I'm assuming that it is, yep, overfilling. Like clockwork. Perfect. So now we'll pull this end out, we'll let that drain first. And then we go back into the barn, unhook the hose off the frost free, and uh, watch the surge of the air pressure drain. And that's how we drain the hose. Then next, normally I'll head on over to Sonny's pen, seeing as how he's not in here, and uh, grab his water bucket if it needs to be cleaned out which it does and uh, refill it and then a lot of times I'll just get the chores prepped for night so the boys don't have so much to do so we'll put Sonny's grain in there which is the same grain that the cows get uh, basically the guys at the mill said it's basically the same thing as horse feed so it's easier just to buy one kind of grain and feed it so that's Sonny's feed for the night his water tubs full and we'll get the manger filled all right we got the horses basically all ready to go for the night so all i have to do is the boys when they get home from school or basketball game whatever it is tonight open the gate let sonny in and this is sonny's place for the night until he gets let out tomorrow morning don't worry by the time that i finish sonny's stuff basically these guys are almost done with their grain so as soon as they're done with their grain basically i'll close up this back gate here so they can't come into the main working area and uh, we'll let them outside for the day Here's another bucket of the 16% that basically once uh, Nitro and D are done eating and they go outside, I can refill their tubs so everything's ready for tonight. Now we're filling up Nitro and D's water tub, so that'll be all set for tonight too. And then I'll come over here, hook up this red hose right here. This red hose kind of gets squeezed through the corner of that door right there. And we'll go outside to the other side of that wall where there's another uh, where there's a lean-to where the animals stay at night. And uh, there's a water tub there that looks like it needs to be filled up too. While I'm out here filling this water tub out here in the lean-to, we'll head into the Kubota. See how I'm right here. And uh, get this thing fired up. Because we have to do a bail run. Normally she fires right up as soon as that glow plugs out. And we're off. Oh, we'll 
let that warm up for the next, we'll let this warm up for the next 15 minutes and it'll be nice and warm when we get in to go grab a bale. All right, now that these guys are pretty much done, I think for the most part, their grain's gone. Come on, come on, come on. We'll uh, shove them outside. Come on, get going. Get going, come on. Come on, come on, get going. Come on, get going. There. Come on, get going. Get going. There we go. Now these guys are outside for the day. Looks like the full water bucket that I had for them, they've already drank half of it, so we'll have to top that off. Fill the manger and fill these bins. So night chores basically consist of them, just letting them in. They're all set to go. And then in the process of all this, every once in a while you got to stop and have a sip of good life coffee. A little cold, but tasty. There, now that Nitro and D is basically all set for the night, and the water tub out in the lean-to has been filled, hose has been drained, now we can go check on the chickens. Now as we're checking on the chickens, which normally they're uh, every other day occurrence basically on getting the eggs and making sure everything's full which today they are good. We'll grab the eggs. And there was three eggs to grab. I see there was a chicken laying on a couple. And every once in a while, you'll have a uh-oh. So now basically, the, pretty much all the animals have be fed and stuff like that. Uh, usually I get in the tractor. It's usually warmed up enough by then. The hydraulics are a lot warmer. But uh, I noticed when I was filling this tub, it's got like a little brown tint to it. So that means somebody sharded in it. So we're going to have to tip this over, get the water out of it, and clean it out. And get some fresh water in there for them. Man, I tell you, even though you have a routine down, there's a thousand variables that can happen on a farm, hobby farm, ranch, whatever. Nothing is ever the same from day to day. So every once in a while you get a little kink in your plans, but uh, you make do with it. You treat the animals at the best that you possibly can. You give them the care that you would give your own family members. So. That's why we're gonna get this water tub tipped out and cleaned out, because we want our cows to have fresh water. Now that I'm looking, the hay needs to be pushed up in the manger. If It's a lot easier for me to use the skid steer with the bucket. Kind of just come up in there and kind of just tough it in a little bit with the skid steer. So we'll actually fire up the skid steer, let that warm up too, so we can get that pushed up. The bale that we're gonna grab is gonna go down over here in a round bale feeder that you can see right over there. Basically we're just kind of dispersing the wealth. There's enough animals here on the farm where I don't like it when everything's all crowded up. So we feed out of that spot. We feed out of this spot. There's a feed gate there. And then we feed out of these two spots. So at all times there's hay in each of these feed spots. that up right there I noticed basically it threw a code F04 that's happened many a times with this machine basically that just has to do with the cold hydraulics and the only reason it did that is because kind of everything's frozen in the ground right there we're you know in the teens right now it's pretty cold out here my hands are actually really freezing but uh, froze to the ground this uh, this year right now currently the LS 170 New Holland has a really bad creep again I haven't had a chance to get it into the shop over there, wherever, to get a look at it and see if I could adjust the linkage or anything like that. So we're kind of just using it as it is. So it has to get fired up. And with that creep being frozen to the ground, basically it, the hydraulics were trying to work a little bit harder than they actually should have. So once I actually get that to a decent idle, I gotta throw the parking brake up on it and uh, it won't creep anymore and that'll warm up properly. And as I'm sitting here waiting for pieces of equipment to warm up, because I want to hop into that skid steer next, get the hay pushed up over here before I bring anything over, we might as well have another cup or another sip. Mm. 
cold coffee. Love it. There are a lot of times when I'm sitting here waiting for stuff to warm up. You know, I'll be checking my phone, looking at Facebook, Instagram, looking at YouTube videos and stuff like that, and listening to the radio. But if you notice, we have no tunes in here. We have tunes going on in this barn 99.9% .9 of the time. But due to copywritten material, let me tell you about it. I spent the last two days going through all my videos and getting rid, rid of copywritten material. That's what happens when you're a newbie to YouTube and you don't read the final disclosure. So we got it turned down, but trust me, as soon as we're done videoing, that's going right back up. Sometimes you gotta go to extreme measures. Due to not having the selfie stick, I wanted to get you guys an action shot in this video. And that's what worked. We shoved the phone up in that little loop right in there and kind of just balanced it. And uh, focused, focused it in on the uh, project at hand. So, improvision guys, improvision. Whoever thought a fence post would work as a uh, selfie stick. All right, now that we got basically the water tub emptied, recleaned, and refilled, the Kubota's been running for the last 20 minutes probably. Uh, plenty warm in there. The hydraulics are warm. We're going to hop in there, head across the street over to the Kwanzaa Hut, grab a bale for today's feeding. And this is, oh, that's tight. The frost kind of picked up that ground a little bit and then it's getting really tight getting underneath that lean to with this tractor. Sometimes the cap rubs. This is my favorite part of daily chores is hopping in this nice warm tractor with a little bit of tunes, heading across the street getting a bale. This is where I get a chance to get warmed up. Okay, we're up here in the Kwanzaa hut. As you can see, we got a bale on the spear going up to the main farm. Basically, this is what we got left, right here and right back there. There's four rows, so I'm figuring I got close, I got a little over 90 dry bales left. Probably another 15 or so uh, baleage bales to feed. Remember, I'm feeding out a bale a day, so I'm looking at about a month and a half worth of feed. No, three and a half months worth of feed left over. I've secured another 30, possibly 40 bales. So we're looking at four and a half months of feed, so we should be good. I knew I was cutting it close. I wish I would have got a little more ambition and did a little more hay this year. I'm not going to make the same mistake next year. Improvision number two for getting you guys an action shot of the Kubota M7040 in action. Hay bale. Improvision number three for a selfie stick. The wife's garden shovel broken manure spreader tine, beater, whatever you want to call it. Now the chores are almost done. You guys saw that I uh, got the round bale and the round bale feeder. I'm going to weasel my way through the hot electric fence without getting zipped and cut the twine off of it and we should be almost done. There, so now that everything's pretty much done, I believe for the most part, everything's put away under storage for the winter weather that we're supposed to be getting this weekend. We'll just run through everything one more time, make sure everything's done. Hey, check, all done.
Water tubs filled, check, all done. Equipment stowed away, done. Ample sufficient amount of hay at these feeders, done. Water tub filled, icing over already, done. Steers feed, done. Horsey feed, done. Chickens happy, done. Sip of coffee, froze, done. Eggs in my pocket, done. Water lines laying, hopefully not gonna freeze. Drained, done. Series of gates all locked up, done. Just in case they wanna bust through that one, they gotta get to this one, and they gotta get to this one for freedom. And most important, radio back on, done. All right, guys, gals, I hope you enjoyed that video. That's basically just a really quick rundown of morning chores here on Pewview Farms, especially when I am working the night shift where I work for the municipality. I got all morning to do stuff like this. Normally, I'll stay out here after this and, you know, do a project or something like that, but I can think of some warm projects inside because it is really, really cold today. So... That being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe if you already haven't. And I look forward to talking to you all real soon.